subscribe our channel press the bell icon for latest videos hi friends here in this video we are going to see problem number 4 on shear stresses for that here is the question figure below shows the cross section of a beam subjected to a shear force of 200 kN means f is given Draw the shear stress distribution diagram. So this is the question in front of us. Now, when I see this beam cross section which is given, it looks like a plus sign and it is a symmetric section. And whenever we have symmetric section, here we have y-axis. Its location is. Since the total width is one twenty, half of that sixty mm is the x bar. That is the location of y axis. Next, the location of x axis, which is the neutral axis over here, is also same because the height is also one twenty. So y bar is sixty mm from bottom. Sixty mm from top. Then I'll just shade this cross section. So this is the cross section which is given. Now, in order to find the shear stress distribution diagram, we have to know the value of shear stresses at various layers. And for that, the numbering of layers is quite important. Like at the top, I would be numbering this as layer first. Similarly, at the bottom, because this is a symmetric section. Then after that, here, where the depth is forty mm, this is section two, having width forty. At this same height of forty mm from top, there is another layer three. Having width total which is one twenty, so giving the same notations at the bottom as well because it being a symmetric section. Now, once I have given the notations, the next thing would be to calculate the moment of inertia for this complete section and how to calculate that. Here I'll explain that there is a complete rectangle or a square we can say of total width one twenty by height one twenty. From that square, I am going to subtract the moment of inertia for a single square, and then multiplying it by four. So I'll explain it how to calculate the moment of inertia into the solution part. Am I about the neutral axis? The complete section is a square, so it is BD cube by twelve. And from that, I have to subtract the moment of inertia for a single square. I'll take any one of these squares, that is here forty by forty, this single square, and its x-axis is exactly passing through half of this forty mm. So here I have to apply the formula of parallel axis theorem because there is a distance between the neutral axis for the complete section and the x-axis for this single square. That height I am denoting it as h one. So here the formula would be b d cube by twelve. That is the moment of inertia for this square of forty by forty about its own x axis. Then plus area one, which is the area of this section. It is again forty into forty. Next h1 square that is parallel axis theorem and here h1 is since the height is 60 and from the top if I subtract 20 I'll get this h1 is 40 so here I had used parallel axis theorem and this is the moment of inertia for a single square. 
like this we have four squares which have to be subtracted so this complete formula would be multiplied with four then putting the values capital B 120 D is also 120 minus 4 into small b is the width of 1 square which is 40 and the depth is 40 area is 1600 into 40 square so when I calculate this I will get the value of i which is i about the neutral axis 6.19 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 is my final answer of i. Now after getting the moment of inertia for this complete section the next thing would be to calculate the shear stresses at various layers starting with the first layer. Tau at section 1 which is there at the top and bottom it is 0 and why the stresses are 0 at the top and bottom for that you all can refer my derivation in which I explain why the shear stress is 0 at the top and bottom then shear stress at layer 2nd would be calculated by using the general formula of shear stress Fa y bar upon Ib keeping this as equation first now when I look into the diagram the layer second is at a width of 40 mm so I have to take this upper rectangle of 40 by 40 in order to calculate for section 2 so here I am drawing the diagram separately This is section 1, here we have section 2nd with this 40 mm even the depth is 40 the height from neutral axis to the top is 60 mm and now F value is given into the problem 200 into 10 raised to 3 area for the section is 40 by 40 and y bar is the distance between the neutral axis and x axis for this area this is distance y bar and how to get that this y bar was similar to the h1 which we had calculated in the formula for moment of inertia like it is 60 minus 20 that is going to give me this same height which is y bar so it is 60 minus 20 i is 6.19 into 10 raised to 6 and b is the width of this section which is 40 mm and from this I will get the answer of tau which is there at the second section and my answer comes out to be 51.72 Newton per mm square then after section 2 there is section 3 at the same depth from top but I see here that the width suddenly increases like from 40 mm it increases to 120 so whenever in case of shear stress the relation is inversely proportional to width like wherever width increases the shear stress decreases and here as I see the width increases suddenly so the shear stress decreases suddenly so the value of tau at section 3 would be less than that at section 2 so for that I will use the concept tau at section 3 3 the width is 120 so it would go into the denominator because tau and width they are inversely proportional so width at section 3 is 120 
then in the denominator there would be tau 2 2 and its width is 40 this tau 2 2 would be multiplied over here and its value is 51.72 I am directly writing the value into 40 divided by 120 so tau 3 at layer 3 it comes out to be 17 1 7 0.24 Newton per mm square now after section 3 the last layer which is left is the neutral axis and for the neutral axis layer calculation of stress at the neutral axis we have to take the area above the neutral axis or the bill or below the neutral axis here the areas are same we can take any one of them so I am taking the area above the neutral axis drawing it separately so that we can understand how to apply the formula Now this is the area above the neutral axis and when I see here this I would be this rectangle would be denoted as area 1 and here this would be area 2 so the formula is F into A1 Y1 bar plus A2 Y2 bar since there are two areas that is why I had used this equation upon IB therefore I am putting the values over here step by step F is 200 into 10 raised to 3 area 1 is 40 by 40 Y1 bar is the location or distance of X axis for rectangle 1 and the neutral axis for the complete system this height is Y1 bar and it would be since this is 40 here we have 20 so this is 20 plus half of 40 which is 20 mm so it gives me the answer as 40 plus area 2 is 120 by 20 y2 bar is exactly at half of 20 that is from the neutral axis to the x-axis of rectangle 2 divided by i for the complete section into b that is the width of this portion at the neutral axis the width is 120 so from here tau about the neutral axis the answer is 23.69 newton per mm square and once we get all the value of shear stresses we can easily plot the shear stress distribution diagram for this given cross section for that I'll just take this diagram which is there initially into the problem projecting to the side the shear stress variation would be parabolic and along the depth of the section the layers are to be projected now tau at the top and bottom were 0 then at section 2 the stress was 51.72 newton per mm square similarly at the bottom because it being a symmetric section then since at section 2 the width was 40 so stress was 51.72 then the width increases suddenly 
सो टाउ डिक्रीज इज सडनली एट सेक्शन थ्री द वैल्यू केम आउट टू बी सेवनटीन पॉइंट टू फोर सो आफ्टर फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट सेवन टू द वैल्यू रिड्यूस इज सडनली एट द टॉप एट द बॉटम then at the neutral axis the value increases again which is 23.69 newton per mm square so this is the variation of shear stress diagram for the given beam and with this the problem gets completed